I don't like to sing in the microphone. But she's reading some songs. She said I should help her to produce them. And you work on her voice and your studio. And when her song comes, Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Esther Asamwa and the channel name is Esther Asamwa TV. So currently I'm at Quadaso Trinity International, that's ICGC Trinity Holy Temple Church. Please, if it's your first time watching my video, you are most welcome. Please kindly subscribe, okay? Press the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you, 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 you there watching me will be notified. So, this is the front view of the church. Yes, this is the front view of the church. And I will show you the size view. I was not able to film the whole church because it's very big. Yes, and the environment is so serene and beautiful. Yes, the greens, everything. Oh my God. Kudos to Trinity. Holy Trinity Temple, like ICGC Quadra. So, in fact, you guys have done a great job. And the inside, too, is very beautiful. I will take you guys inside. And the whole program is all about Pastor's Wives Breakfast Meeting Conference. And someone will ask, ah, Esther, are you a pastor's wife? No, my husband is not a pastor, but rather, I am the um assistant or vice president of our women's fellowship that's bvv and i my pastor's wife is not feeling well so i need to represent her and in fact i love the program now let's go inside and worship god <laughs>
happened. <laughs> she just wanted to let us know that she was not sad. She actually resigned. <laughs> okay. So, we want to take this opportunity to thank you all for coming. I'm actually seriously elated. I, I feel a little bit under the weather because of a lot of stress. And uh, I, I realize that uh, when you are in God, even sickness cannot take you down. Yeah. The power of God is able to strengthen you to go through whatever it is. We have a very important guest amongst us. If I want to read his profile to take me over five minutes, the man is an academic and he's a spiritual giant. So he has both sides. He is a lecturer and he is a professor. He is a lecturer and he is also a prophet. So he professes and I mean declares things and all happen. One of the things about whatever he tells you is that he has taken by faith. He is a man of faith and he does a lot of declarations. Because you are here eating, I am not too sure what God is going to use it to you. <laughs> I am not interested in seeing somebody's weak removed or uh, attachment stretched or uh, maybe a fried hair being torn because this man has a gradual anointing when he enters into the spirit he can turn every table upside down so I will be praying and locking him so he should be exposed uh, if you want exposing that will be those of us who are in this church tomorrow we have to so enjoy it you have to go to your church. So we will enjoy and also enjoy the pastors. Amen. Amen. But we have a man of God who has been in the ministry for over the past 40 years and counting. And this is somebody who has served through the ranks. He started as a man boy. He has learned to play about eight instruments on his own. And uh, he is somebody who has a walk, won a lot of awards in music, not just standing in the house and playing. And uh, when it comes to the preaching of the word, for me, he stands up, he is among the top of the uh, people who we call the best of preachers in our generation. I believe that as he is here, you will open up your heart. It has not been easy getting him. They were supposed to come here on Wednesday together with the whole family. But a whole lot of things happening, and the family have to bless him to depart so they can stay. But we will get them here one time, the whole family for them to minister, and you will see how father, mother, and sons can come together and change your life in just a second. But now, we are having a women's breakfast meeting, and he has held several conferences with women across. He has helped the wife to become an icon in preaching, in counseling, in ministry, in many, many big platforms across the world. That is why we really would have enjoyed the wife's ministry if she had been able to come. So we want to apologize to all of you for not being able to have her here. She really desires to be here, but unfortunately, events didn't allow her to come. But if the man who trained her to come is here, then I don't think you have a problem. I hope you are getting it. Yes. So let us all be upstanding as we invite the Deja Obasia and Senior Pastor. Transforming Life Center International and Ottawa in Canada. My God, we are so grateful to have you come. It is an honor to see you and listen to your words of wisdom and power. God bless you so much. Quality attracts quality. And once you become a person of quality, the world will look for you. And so I completely empathize with your comments. I get it 100%. Um, I'm a Ashanti boy from Ghana. I get it. But what I'm trying to say is the world is changing. The world as we knew it is changing. So step up. Whatever you want to do, Find a way to be able to bring it up if it means you need to sit down with your husband and talk things through. <clears throat> One thing I find, if you're a married woman and you have a supportive husband, there's no limit. And so sometimes it's just 
a, a good conversation, a good uh, understanding of the mind. Honey, I want to do this. What do you think about it? Let him express his fears, his concerns, talk about it, and, 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 and come up with ideas. Once your husband is in support of you, the sky is the limit. You only need one person to support you, your husband. And if your husband won't support you, your pastor is here. If your pastor supports you, you, are, you, know, you can do it. So I really applaud your, your way of thinking. I like that. That's even an expression of trying to get to the next level. And that in itself is a step forward. So keep going. has been an amazing one very educative and it has taught us a lot yes i've really learned a lot and i hope you too after watching this video i know you too have learned a lot from this conference like our messages and all stuff it's a very short video but i know you have really enjoyed yourself and have gotten something unique from it and I greet all ICDC members, especially Konongo Branch, Crystal Temple Church. I greet all of you. So, bye.